Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So few months ago, OpenAI has released ChatGPT dialogue platform for functioning or for prompting and getting the answers based on your queries, right? And now, now they have released ChatGPT API as well as Whisper APIs. So in this particular tutorial, we are just going to look onto the ChatGPT API using Python. And they have witnessed a lot of use cases in their website. So if you go into their website, you want to see a lot of use cases that has been developed by Snapchat company and also the Quizlet companies, Instacart and Snap, uh, Shopify. So there are various companies that has been utilizing these kind of applications and they're they are showcasing on their website. So the speciality of this ChatGPT API is now you can use this as a uh, Python application and build up some cool application on top of your ChatGPT uh, models. So till now you have been just using a ChatGPT platform, uh, a pre-built platform by OpenAI and you were just querying it to get an answer from it. But now you can use it as an API to build up some new kind of products for your own uh, industrial purposes. And then you can utilize that particular uh, efficiency and efficient model for your own uh, use cases. So that's the beauty of uh, the APIs. And we are going to look into that by using Python. And OpenAI also claimed that uh, they're using uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which is a lot better than text DaVinci model of GPT-3. And it is also uh, much cheaper than the uh, text DaVinci model. So if you if you go into the pricing section of their particular uh, OpenAI, and then you want to see that the DaVinci model cost you around uh, uh, 0.02 cents per 1K token. And ChatGPT um, Chat GPT models, which is GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which cost you around 0.02 per 1K token. So it's 10 times cheaper than the previous uh, GPT-3 model that we were using for our own uh, use cases. But one drawback of this is right now is that you cannot fine tune your chat GPT model that is GPT-3.5 turbo model uh, for your own use cases. You, but you can use it directly uh, like how you were using it on the uh, OpenAI chat platforms, right? So, but in future, they're gonna uh, help you in fine tuning also. But right now it's not available uh, as of now for, for fine tuning. And remember, in, in these kind of OpenAI models, they're gonna charge you on the basis of the token that that, the, that you're gonna request for it. So if you, if you have large amount of tokens uh, that you want to generate out of your models, then it's gonna cost you on the basis of that particular generated tokens. So while using these kind of model, you should be aware that the pricing of these models are based on a token, not on the word, it's on the token. So. Uh, so you have to be very conscious while generating the output and you should also be limiting those outputs based on your own scenarios. So you shouldn't be wasting your uh, token size or the money on, on generating those kind of unnecessary tokens, right? So uh, that's the disclaimer that I wanted to make before you proceed for any kind of uh, using this kind of models. And then uh, if you go into their different uh, uh, documentations, you're going to see that they have introduced a chat completion uh, API uh, introduced inside the open API and then you can use this uh, chat completion uh, class inside uh, your open AI uh, uh, Python library and then from here you can call up uh, the, the, the GPT 3.5 turbo model and then you can use it as a prompt and generate the uh, queries and answers for it. So for this tutorial we are going to use the same thing but by using the Python API so we are going to look into this uh, but before that we need to make sure that we have an open API uh, key uh, so you have to just first log in into your OpenAI portal and then you have to go into your profile and then you have to go into the view API keys and you have to generate a new key a new secret key and now from once you have this uh, new secret key you can just use your Python API and then start using this as an API so we are going to look into this okay so now we are jumping into the uh, Python tutorial uh, like how we can use this API right so as I discussed uh, first we need to install the OpenAI uh, Python API right so you have to install that open API and then uh, once you install that open API uh, using PyP uh, and now you can use your open API key uh, that is that you copied it from uh, that you generated from the open AI uh, platform right so you can just uh, import your open AI and then you can mention your uh, secrets over here and then you can start using uh, the open API uh, platforms by using your uh, okay so now once you have specified your open API key 
uh, and then you can start using uh, chat completion uh, classes from the open end that has been recently introduced right so you have to just take up open api dot chat completion and the dot create and then if you have, you have to specify the model name that is gpt3 gpt3.5 turbo and then you have to start rolling out the uh, the important things that is important as a uh, as a chat dialog was to work right so here are the things that that generally happens at the back end when you start when you use chat gpt platform so at the start you have to specify the role that that the system is a uh, role so initially when you start using a a chat gpt platform right so over there you have to uh, you don't have to specify any of the things so uh, initially when the chat gpt platform starts up so in initially it takes up these kind of uh, prompts inside this so it specifies that system is taking up loading up and then you have to specify the initial prompt to set up your uh, uh, chat gpt right and then after that you start prompting or you start writing up your queries and you start getting the answer so there there's the uh, there's the line this is that line that where you write up the write up the your queries so that's how you specify that role is user and then you specify the content inside it so when you start writing the content inside the chat gpt platform right so there there this is the line that is going to be initiated back end of the chat gpt platform so if you go into this particular uh, portal of chat gpt uh, so before writing your particular query that is that is particular user is giving a command right this particular command is being uh, initiated so this role of system content is going to be initiated at the back end before starting this particular uh, particular portal and then once you specify the query which is this line then you start getting the uh, output out of this so since this chat gpt uh, is a platform remembers your past inputs so that's how you're going to create this uh, this particular information and use this particular past information and append it in this particular message command so we are going to look into that but this is the initial start that we are going to do it so first you have to take up uh, so this particular system is going to take up a general command that you can take up as a primer uh, primary start and then uh, once you once the particular portal starts so this is going to be initiated this particular line and then after that you just write up the uh, query right so this is the query that i'm going to write up so please help me to write a python code to build a text classification model using kairos so i'm going to specify this particular query and i have to mention this by specifying that role who is who is executing this particular uh, query so i have to specify that it's, it's a user and then what is the content so what is the query you have, so you have to mention that particular query here and then once you mention that you have to pass into this particular model and just run this particular code okay so now it has generated an output uh, so we are going to see, see in this particular uh, response variable you can see there are various things that are being uh, output from uh, the particular model right so you can see uh, choices and then inside this message you're going to see the content output so here's our output that is being generated from the uh, model and you can see the role here is assistant so now you can see initially it was system and now it has changed it to the assistant so when when the once the output comes out of that particular uh, model right so it's going to change the role to assistance so and there are multiple things that are coming up like you can see the usage like complete token size prompt token and total token so what uh, how the token is actually calculated is based on this uh, token total token size so the pricing that you're going to pay is based on this total uh, total token size which is 491 and uh, this 491 is being uh, calculated by using the prompt token so that means whatever the query that you're putting up so this is also being added and also this completion token so whatever the output token size so this, if you add these two you want to get this total token size so and based on this you want to get an output right and and based on this you want to pay you have to pay uh, the charges for this particular api so by watching this kind of uh, uh, informations you can take care of uh, the the information that that you have to output and then you can also specify some different parameters like max underscore token so if you go into the api references you're going to see that there are different parameters that are available where you can control the output of a particular model right so here are max tokens and then temperature and top p so in this max to token you can specify the different uh, token size that you want to have and then you can limit the token size and uh, output of a particular model and that's how you're going to save the money and amount right so that's how you can play with this particular parameters right now i'm not using any kind of parameters here but you can specify the parameters inside uh, inside this particular uh, create function, right? So you can use that particular um, max underscore token function over here, right? So right now I'm not using max underscore token of for this particular tutorial, but you can play around this, right? So now I just want to uh, make sure that 
this particular object whatever it has written right this particular content to be written in a specific format like this kind of format so if you see the same query that i have written here in the chat gpt platform you can see the output has been displayed so i just want to print this particular output in a similar format so i have to use the markdown uh, display so first thing is i have to use uh, the content uh, output so this is the way that you can uh, generate or get a uh, content output from it and then you have to specify the marker and then display the output right so you're gonna see the similar output in, in this form so if you just check it out uh, the similar output has been generated here almost the similar if you see that and then uh, you can use this particular output and then you can refeed this particular output uh, into this particular uh, message and then you can also ask the new query after this so let me just do that so let me just take up this particular query and and i have to specify the role also right so if you go into this in this uh, particular message you're gonna see that i have an assistant role right so let me just take up that and let me just print it out and you're gonna see that thing right so you're gonna see that content and the role available so this is what i required uh, to be filled up inside this inside this particular message right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this in a particular variable called output and then i'm going to specify this particular output that written output into this uh, message right and then i'm going to specify the new query out of after this so you remember right chatgpt takes up the previous queries as well as the current queries and give the answers based on the uh, the context that you have typed before right so that, that's how they're gonna build up that's how we are trying to build up the new query and we have to pass the output of the previous uh, query so that's how you have to input the the things out in this message and then you have to specify the new query so i'm going to take up a new query after this which i have tried it on this particular chatgpt platform so i'm going to just take up this this query and going to input this inside this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, dictionary and then uh, you have to specify the role as user and here it will be an assistant so now i have to just regenerate and run this particular uh, cell to generate an output okay so now let's print this particular response that we got once we imputed the queries right so you can see now uh, we got a new answer out of this so we specified that how we can use this particular uh, uh, model using the hugging face using Keras. So it has uh, given an output. Uh, now it is taking the information from the uh, from the output that we got generated by the previous queries, and also it is modifying the output uh, based on the current query. So this is how it is looking like. But now let's display this in a better format, right? So let me just read on this particular cell to get the visuals of it, and then you can see now it has modified the the previous uh, information by using the current prompt and then it has now is able to generate the information based out of uh, the hugging face information that we just that we just wrote out of it right so that's how uh, the chat gpt platform works at the back end and now if you go into this chat gpt platform you're gonna see the same output that has been uh, outputted here you're gonna see the same output uh, that is being generated here also so i think that's a pretty amazing thing that has that is being worked around and OpenAI has been a great at working on these kind of uh, models and applications and we would like to see a great application to be built around this and they've also showcased in their website like there are various companies that are being using this and we can use such kind of apis to improve the functionality of our current applications and also if once in the future uh, we are able to use this uh, and fine tune this particular model uh, that will be a great add-on to this particular uh, chat gpt application and we can modify a lot of things uh, on on the industry's basis and we can start using based on the our data scenarios and that can help us to build up better applications in in the future so i think this is a great addition uh, of uh, introducing the chat gpt python in in open api and hopefully we're gonna get a uh, better applications uh, working with this particular uh, uh, chat gpt apis right so so that's the thing we, we have to look into forward in the future and i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial so that's it for this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial and if you like the content do subscribe my channel and do like this particular video thank you